in the city of the living spring nigeria a beacon of knowledge and enlightenment stands fountain university established in 2007 this institution is more than just a place of learning it is a testament to the vision and commitment of a leading Islamic organization in Nigeria, the Nasrul Lifati Society worldwide. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the vibrant tapestry of Fountain University, where academic excellence harmonizes with Islamic values. Join us as we delve into the soul of this esteemed institution, discovering its colleges, schools, and the myriad opportunities it offers. Our guide on this enlightening journey is none other than the esteemed Vice Chancellor, Professor Olain Karamata Karim. Through a comprehensive interview, she graciously shared insight into the academic landscape, campus life, student activities, staff development, research opportunities, and other vibrant activities that define this institution. This is the story of Fountain University, where education meets enlightenment and where the future is shaped by knowledge, faith and service. Fountain University is an Islamic faith-based institution and I want to say it's one of the pace-setting Islamic faith-based institutions in Nigeria. In Fountain University, we don't just train or teach the students to earn the degrees, but we train them to earn the degree and to have the competency to be able to practice the discipline. To be able to practice is not through theoretical teaching only. It involves the practical training. And that is why we put premium on it. All courses, we try as much as possible to make all our courses to be practical oriented. So you don't just go to the class and learn will the lecturer pouring the theory. No, they have practical content. And they have manuals for all the practicals. They have practical notebooks that we give them that they use to report all their practical based activities. We don't have any student that doesn't have JAMB admission letter. So they all are all admitted into the university through JAMB. For all our programs, all our programs, up to 2023, 2024 academic sessions that we are now, they all are full LUC accreditation status, like law, like nursing, like MLS, medical laboratory science, like accounting. For law, our accreditation status takes us to 2025, both for NUC and for the for the professional body. Against the 
we have five year accreditation status from Nursing and Midwifery Council. All our laboratories are fully equipped with necessary equipment that can support the training for the professional programs. In fact, when the teams visited nursing, they encouraged us to float some other programs like anatomy, physiology, because we have the equipment, we have the personnel, we have all the facilities required. And our students too, they have the clinical trainings. We have two teaching hospitals that the students earn their clinical trainings from. Producing fake products, and I also feel that as me those. As we also have the entrepreneurship center, center for entrepreneurship and skill acquisition, where we support the training we give this to the students with skills acquisition. University run a full residential policy system. So all students are expected to stay on campus, even though we allow few of them that have genuine reasons, marriage, maybe by marriage, or working class students. All the hostels for this academic session we have converted all the hostels, all the rooms to ensuit rooms. So the students now have their personal toilets and bathroom. It's no longer a dormitory-like hostel. They have common room where they can go to watch television. We have reading room. We have a praying room where they can pray. We encourage them to pray on their own. And we encourage them not to just be praying in their room, to pray in the praying room. We have restaurants, we have canteens, we have uh, mini mats, hall in the hostels where the students can go to eat. The accommodation system is like a home away from home. We have e-library too, in fact, in College of Law. The, uh, the arts, they also have that. We have the e-library. We also had a donation of 100 units of laptops from NCC. We received the, that also this year. This is also to improve on our ICT service and it's also going to uh, corroborate our efforts on having uh, a CBT center for the university, computer-based test center for the university. And for our students not to just be uh, having just uh, one-way traffic from the uh, 
uh, halls of residence to the academic areas for them to have opportunity to engage in other activities. We have now uh, improved on our sporting facilities. Not only improving on the sporting facilities, but creating different competitions, different competitions that can stimulate the students to be more sports lovers. Are you this morning to score the goal? Are you about with the long throw in? Out by Bonal. Are you on the ball? Man closing it down. We look out there on the ball again. Fire with the ball. Trying to find the last touch here. I fly on the ball. We have the university guest house for the university community. We have our researchers when they visit the university lodging there. Our the parents also can lodge there. Our guests all can lodge at our university guest house. The university is proud of the five colleges we now have in place. The colleges are College of Natural and Applied Sciences, that's the first one that we are calling as CUNAS, College of um, Management and Social Sciences, COMAS, College of Law, COLA. Then we have the COMES, College of Physic, uh, College of Medical and Health Sciences, that is COMES. And the fifth one that we just introduced this academic session is COAT, College of Arts. In addition to these five colleges, we have the School of Postgraduate Studies. And we are planning to add College of Education at the next, College of Education and uh, Agriculture at the next uh, academic session. I want to boldly say that uh, Fountain University is one of the universities that are having a very low school fees and we purposely did this because our target is that we want university education to be affordable to all categories of students not only the rich ones we don't want private university to be accessible only to them we want the indigent students too to be able to come to private university so that is why we purposely make our school fees to be affordable and this is how why we have improved the opportunities for scholarships university is now can boast of almost seven levels of different scholarships and we also want to have collaborations with other universities we don't want to be a, 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 a loner or run alone we want to have collaborations linkages with other universities beyond the walls of Nigeria. So we now have four installment payments scheduled for the university, for the school fees. We purposely relax this, the payment to that level. And it's just to the reason I stated earlier that we want it to be, uh, university education to be affordable to all students. We understand the economic situation. We are very mindful of that. Most especially with the removal of fuel subsidy that skyrocketed so many things in the country, and even globally. This is what we have for the students. And the parents, the guidance, have been commending the university for introducing this. 
join Fountain University and you will not regret because Fountain University is a university that is not just uh, after produ the production of the graduates with an academic degree, but a university that will provide a full-bodied learning-centered education. As our journey through Fountain University comes to a close, we reflect on the rich tapestry of experiences, knowledge and values that define this institution. From the splendid campus to the dynamic academic programs, it is evident that Fountain University is not just a place of learning, it is a nurturing ground for future leaders. May the legacy of Fountain University continue to illuminate minds and inspire hearts for generations to come.